All right, what's up everybody? Me and Jackson here on a Tuesday, trying to get some work done. Wanted to talk to you guys about cardio. Um, what makes it up, why it's important, and how understanding some of this stuff can help you. So I'm gonna break this up into a couple different videos because there are way more options for increasing your cardio to target specific things than I think most people know about. So initially I just want to talk about what it is, what we're trying to do, why it's important. All right. So this first little chart here I built, I didn't build it, but you've got your heart rate down here at the bottom and power output here at the top. All right. So at a given intensity using heart rate, we'll say you're going to be using a certain way to produce energy. Okay. So you can produce en energy aerobically, aerobic, if the heart rate is, or I'm sorry, if the, if the intensity is low and you need a longer duration, this is duration, wrong graph. So this is time down here at the bottom. Um, yep, there we go. So if you need to do something for a long time and it's not that intense, you're gonna be using your aerobic energy systems. If you need to increase the power and do it for a short period of time, you're gonna be using your anaerobic energy systems. Okay, I think we've all heard of aerobic and anaerobic. Within anaerobic, there's actually two subcategories. You've got your anaerobic alactic and your anaerobic lactic. Okay, so ultimately the goal is to understand what we're doing, why we're doing it. So long time, low intensity, aerobic. Short time, high intensity, one of the anaerobic systems. Okay, that's the key point right now. Um, one of the key points. One thing I'd like to point out is that unless the intent of the exercise is super high, if you're not trying to produce as much power as possible, you might not be working the systems you think you're working, okay? So think of yourself on the bike. Am I trying to produce as much power as humanly possible if we're trying to work this energy system, all right? The second thing I wanna show you is what we're, why it's important, how to, how to increase your window of aerobic capacity. So for this one, we actually do have heart rate here at the bottom to show the intensity you're working at. And then power still stays up on the other axis. Okay. And this is important. This is kind of looking at threshold training also. But essentially, if this red dotted line is me when I started out training, at a given heart rate, say right here, I'm producing a given amount of power. After training at that same heart rate, I can produce more power, okay? That's a cool thing if we're talking about performance, okay? Or going out and having fun with kids, going hiking, whatever it may be. My heart rate's lower and I can produce more power, all right? Now, on this same chart, we can draw, say for my untrained self, this line. This line represents my threshold, okay, my anaerobic threshold. On this side of the line, it's aerobic. My heart rate's not high enough to force me into my anaerobic energy systems, okay? All that basically means is I'm working, I'm not working hard enough, to, so I'm not demanding a supply of oxygen so much that my body can't produce it. The minute I cross over this line, we move into anaerobic energy systems. So that means I'm demanding more oxygen than my body can supply, so we have to switch into that anaerobic energy system. Now untrained, my threshold was here. So I, this given heart rate, we'll just call this 150, 150 beats per minute right now, is my threshold. Above that, I move to anaerobic. Now that basically means I can't maintain that for very long. Okay, or as long as I could maintain my aerobic. After training, if we move my threshold over here, 
Now I can work at a higher heart rate, but still be within that aerobic zone. So that first graph we looked at, that big old long oval aerobic at the bottom, I just made that bubble bigger. I'm able to do more, have more power, and still be aerobic, which means I can do it for longer. I don't have to tap into that anaerobic side, okay? So in terms of performance, typically the goal will be to increase threshold, okay? So that that aerobic window is higher. Now, what makes up aerobic energy systems? How do we improve it? What are the components of that? Because if we know the components of it, we can understand how to train it and how to improve it. So the three things that make up or that we can change or alter for aerobic energy systems are going to be the rate at which we supply oxygen, okay? The utilization of oxygen and then the substrate um, pool, how, how much material we have to, to work with. So the material side of things, think about it in terms of sugars, okay? If I have no carbs in my system, I'm running low on things that I need to use. My, my bank account's pretty empty on that side of things. On the supply side, getting oxygen into the blood and into the muscle, that's gonna be what we'll talk about in the next video, that's gonna be increasing cardiac output, which might not mean anything to you right now, and increasing uh, aerobic power, which was kind of that, that second graph I just showed you. We'll talk about those in the next video, assuming Jackson doesn't wake up, and then we'll move on and start to show some of the other tools you can use to increase your cardio um, and increase that aerobic window, and also then eventually we'll get into the anaerobic side of things, a couple of videos later and explain what that is, why it's important, how it's going to help you.